The Bucs set to get the football first, and they trail here as we get started in the second half. Fielded just outside the goal line. And some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. The Bengals drive about to get going. All in all, pretty manageable deficit, Charles, here as they start this third quarter offensively when you consider the fact that in the first two quarters, they had two costly turnovers. I think you laid it out there perfectly, partner. Very tough to hold a lead going into the break if you continue to hand it over on multiple drives. Yeah, and obviously, Charles, it would be very tough to climb back into the game if those turnovers continue. I would say borderline impossible. You keep turning it over, I don't know how you make up a deficit. Now here's a pass on first down. It's knocked away and incomplete. Second and 15. Now it's Burrow. And he's going to be brought down. Back at his own six-yard line. Micah Parsons showing off that elite athleticism as he gets the sack. I'd say it's not panic time yet, but let's be honest about it. Empty possession here, not what you're looking for when you're down a couple of scores. Absolutely not. Trying to start the second half off on the right foot. Unfortunately, going to give the ball up. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. Certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say it was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. Take it on the midfield logo. It's a 40-yard punt, six yards on the return. And the Cowboys are going to take over in great position here with a first and 10. Up the middle, here's Elliott. And he's got run. So that time, they got the left guard with a hold. And let's face it, in today's ball, you might have that 330-pound guy you're supposed to clear out of there. You might need a little bit of extra help by grabbing the jersey and trying to ride him out. After the penalty, it's Elliott. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Officially, no gain on the play, and it's second down. Now they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe it'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. Meanwhile, Dax throw complete into the hands of Schultz here. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. Now this is a quarterback that's already in the top 100 all-time in passing yards, but that last throw going to move him past Roger Staubach on the all-time list. Roger Charles at 22,007. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. James Washington. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. As his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. Prescott, they're going to throw for it. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Popular down near the goal line. Quick slant. Nice job there to get in, knock it away. It was. One of the other things you're concerned about when you throw that route is to make sure your offensive linemen use their leverage to get the hands of the defensive front down so you can throw it through that little bit of crowd and get it to the receiver. In this event, they did, but a nice play by the defender knocking it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And they'll get him down inside the 30th to 27. The Bengals drive about to get going. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. 
Off the play fake, here's Burrow. And that is taken in by Hurst. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Inside four minutes to go, third quarter. Inside handoff to Nixon. And he's got this one across midfield into Cowboy territory. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Again, it's Mixon. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. 108 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, go. they went three and out. Here we go. Throwing now, Burrow on first down. Blitz coming and down he goes. Now following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. Here's Burrow. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Malik Hooker. And the Cowboys are going to get the football here at their own 40-yard line. Well, still down quite a bit here, several scores. But, yeah, at least that's a start, Charles, getting the interception here. And look, we're still in the third quarter, so this thing not done yet. You're right about that, Brandon. This defense, they haven't quit on this game. They stayed with it and got an interception and handed the ball back to their offense. And what you wonder about is the team that just threw that interception, they've got to be careful about developing a sense of complacency and thinking this game is over. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. He finds his man complete. It's Ferguson. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. Inside give to Elliott. And he'll bring this one inside the 35. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Getting had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. That burst good for 20 and a first down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. Now this offense really looking polished these first couple of weeks. Here's first and 10. Now quick throw there going to be batted away and incomplete. Coaches talk about it all the time. Players talk about it as well. Excellent job staying disciplined in coverage and making that stop. Inside the red zone, every stop like that could be preventing a possible touchdown. And they're going to lose some on this play. Being knocked back to the 18. Chalk that up as a four-yard loss. And now it's third down. I have zero rooting interest in either team in this game. I only want a good game. But with all the offense we've seen from them tonight, it's kind of nice to see the defense step up and make a big play. Yeah, I was wondering if they were ever going to get him in the backfield. Nice to see him get a stop. And he's got to be frustrated. Bottled up for the third straight play. A loss of a yard, and it brings up four. And the attempt at three will have to come from the other end of the field as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we'll begin it with a field goal try here. From the left hash, it's a 36-yard attempt. The kick by Marr is good, and that will extend their lead even further. 
Well, ultimately, not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but they'll take the three, and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know. If you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so. And maybe you've actually clicked him off in your headset so you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. The Bengals drive about to get going. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. Yeah, absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally... I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. Here we go, here we go. And this offense on third down today, they've only converted once in four tries. This will be third and five. Man open, that's Jamar Chase complete. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. They'll get 34 yards there. Now it's Burrow. Open man downfield is Chase. He's got it. And all the way in for a Cincinnati score. Jamar Chase, 36 yards. And the Bengals have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. And he's got it for the two-point conversion. So they tack on a pair more here to narrow that deficit a bit further. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. From the 10. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. And this is incomplete. Oh, it looked like he had a pretty good line on that one. That would have been a big play. But he could not pull it in. Well, you know me. Whether you need it or not, I'm going to give a little unsolicited advice. Just throw it downfield out of the pocket only if you're absolutely sure. Otherwise, use your running ability and try and get those yards a safer way. Off the play fake, Prescott. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Picked up by Jesse Bates. Wow, between last week and this week, that's now eight interceptions. Five a week ago, now three here. Well, he is so lucky that one of the defense coordinators I played for, a man named Ken Donahue, is not there right now. Because he saw that happen during his coaching career, and he grabbed a quarterback in the midst of a streak like this and go. said, tell you what, son, why don't you throw it to the defensive guys and let's see if our receivers can intercept. <laughs> He's got to figure something out because the current formula is not working. Now a throw here to his running back. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. A good start there on first down. They've got to have this drive. No doubt about it. Down a couple of scores. They have to find a way to put it in the end zone. Chunk plays, explosive plays. That will be the key to this drive. 11, 11, 11, 11. 11, 11, 11. On first and ten, Joe Burrow finding Mixon here again on back-to-back -back plays. Touchdown, Bengals! 
Joe Mixon. He scored on the ground and through the air. And the Bengals have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. McPherson now for the extra point. And that'll cut the lead down now to a touchdown. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. Fields it right around the goal line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. I'm curious to see, Charles, about the play calling on this drive. Last time out, the interception that led to a touchdown. Here we are. I mean, very close. One score game. Yeah, and if I'm a defender, I'm actually chirping to you on the other side of the ball. Said, hey, we picked off the last one. What you going to do about it now? <laughs> so when you do throw the football, high percentage, but throw it with confidence. If there's any hesitancy at all, it could end up in enemy's hands again. Dak dropping this one off for Zeke. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. 13 yards and a first down, Cowboys. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. They play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Well, they certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Prescott yet again. And this one is incomplete. This a very important drive, and that incompletion leads to a very important third down here if they're going to try and get the football back. Yeah, getting it back, absolutely crucial to their chances to try and win this game. I would expect a lot of pressure here. They can't afford to let them continue to get first downs and eat away at the clock. Another incompletion would certainly be ideal defensively. A big play now. This is third and ten. To throw is Prescott. He's going to fire one deep, middle of the field. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it. Falls to the ground and brings up fourth down.
Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Terrific field position. Here we go. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Here we go. Burrow looking to pass. And he'll spot Higgins open left side. And he'll be hauled down at about the 30-yard line. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works the defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing, and they got it done. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. Let's give some credit to the defensive guys on that play. Able to bat that one away. Sure looked like they were trying to hit the corner route. plays in the game thus far the crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down now burrow yeah that one gonna be knocked away and incomplete i think it's safe to say they've made some questionable decisions out there so far forcing throws into tight coverage has already been picked off in this game Fourth down now, but he's fourth down that one. Not to have another turnover on his legend. Here we go, here we go. Eleven, eleven. Here we go. It's Burrow on fourth down. And he's got Hurst, his tight end. And he is going to have the Bengals first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. They'll get 19 yards there. And that'll be good enough for a Cincinnati first. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes. And we've got a one-score game. Now this offense hoping to avoid the 0-2 start. Now they trail, but they've got a first and 10 here. They're passing here, Joe Burrow. This goes out wide for Mixon. Touchdown! Joe Mixon, an 11-yard touchdown. And the Bengals are an extra point away from tying this game here in the final minutes. Still an important piece of business to take care of, the extra point. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. So here comes the kickoff now, all even here in this fourth quarter. Taking it about the one. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And last time, went for it on fourth, didn't get it. See if they can pick themselves up off the mat and do better this go around. Sometimes I have this vision of coaches writing notes to themselves before a game. And sometimes that note says, be aggressive, stay aggressive. Maybe that's what we saw in the last possession. Yeah, they were very aggressive. This time, will it result in points? We'll find out. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Now Prescott. 
finding Schultz. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. 23 yards the pick up there. Huge first down. Got to hurry. Yeah, now they have to get up there, get set, and then spike it. A handoff left. Elliott. No, oh, a heck of a move. Man. And a pretty athletic run right there as he's going to get this down inside the 40. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They keep on the ground with Elliott. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. They've created a nice sustained drive off of plays like that. A nice strong run there. It keeps them advancing the ball. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Here's Dak. He's got his man, Schultz, coming across the formation. Now the timeout will be called, so they're in field goal range with three seconds left. And his kick is good. And it'll be a good time in Big D tonight. The Cowboys have won it. Charles, normally when you see a group score this many points, it's a complete blowout. But instead, they needed every single one of those in this close, high-scoring affair. Yeah, Brandon, I'm still on the edge of my seat after that one because when you have that much scoring and it still comes down to one possession game at the end, that's not something we see very often. And in this case, these offenses, they brought it. The defenses, they're going to need some work going forward. So for Dallas, they use the favorable early schedule to their advantage as they move to 2-0. And they will hit the road next week to take on the New York Giants. Meanwhile, for the Bengals... Yeah, I did it, but it ain't just me, it's the whole team, share it with the whole team.